What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little deck profile, and today we have Thunder Dragons, um, Chaos Thunder Dragons, Chaos Dragons, whatever you want to call it. The deck revolves around using all of the Thunder Dragons, which are both light and dark, and using Chaos Dra Dragon Levianir for your huge power plays and big pushes. Um, now the deck got improved because of all the extra um, Xyz monsters that were given that are just absolutely busted. In uh, Guy Dragon the Thunder Charger, Ptolemy M7, and Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Um, so the main the main way you're going to be making these is all through level dupe, which will either which will target a monster you control and uh, re you reveal a monster in your hand to change the level of the monster you control to the level of the monster that you reveal. So through a loof lupine, you'll be so loof with either dark or roar, for instance, gives you any Xyz or any like rank five or six Xyz. Um, so you'll go aloof, banish roar or dark, and then banish the counterpart, whatever you didn't banish from the deck. And then dark will trigger to add hawk to hand, roar will trigger to summon another roar. And then you'll hawk discard itself to either A, summon roar, um, to then exceed with both roars into a level 6. Um, or you can B, um, reveal hawk, target aloof to level dupe, and then hawk summon... Um, or you don't even have to summon anything. You can just exceed with the roar that was summoned off of roar and the aloof that is now level six to make it rank six. Uh, and then Hawk can summon back the banished roar, which can then sit on the field and float with. Um, or you can sit on the field with aloof, which when destroyed by battle or card effect will add a banished card from your banished pile to your hand. So there's just a ton of a uh, ton of um, options you can do with a single aloof play. Uh, you can also go roar summon dark. And then dark can add roar to hand, or dark can add hawk to hand. Um, and then you can hawk summon dark from the bench pile, and then overlay two darks for Adrius. Um, and this is good against things like Necro Valley. Just a single aloof play can make it the rank five, which outs Necro Valley. This destroys any face up card on your opponent controls just by detaching material. Um, you also have like just aloof with any Xyz, like you can make Telemi M7 to bounce a monster. And then you have 17 with. Uh, 2700 or you have if you level dupe with the loof you have uh, roar after you hawk summon it and telemi for 5100 so it's just a ton of options and then after those plays you have levy in here to just continue extending I'm playing the one Caius this could be chaos sorcerer I just I don't know it just I, I like Caius better it just it doesn't really matter you're not gonna see it too much you're gonna mill this card more than you're gonna draw it most likely so like it doesn't matter too much but Caius is cool you can burn for 500 which can be which can deal lethal sometimes. I mean, that's an option as well. Um, or you can just exceed with it after you like summon, banish something, and then exceed with it to bounce something with Telemium 7. Really, really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. You're playing the Light Sworn Engine as well. Uh, Raiden can mill a bunch. Lila can pop back row. Charge is just busted. Melody searches your Levineers because it searches a monster 3,000 more, or two Dragon type monsters with 3,000 more attack and 2,500 or less defense. Levianir fits that category, so yeah, uh, we're gonna grab our coffees and stick around. All right, we're up against a Yam Yug. We're going second, nice. We get that extra draw. We get the battle phase. We get to actually destroy some stuff he has. Very, very nice. We see Aloof with Dark. We see Raiden with Hawk. Gorgeous all around. He's gonna go Red Eyes Fusion. You don't see a lot of red eyes anymore. Send, sending Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster. Interesting. So there is Slash. Uh, I'm just going to Dark. Just get another Dark out of my deck. All this really does is just thin your deck. It gives you less of a chance to draw Dark and more of a chance to draw something good, however small that chance is. Um, so there's going to be another Aloof. It doesn't really matter. We already have one. He doesn't have anything equipped to this... Um, Red Eye Slash. So we have a few options here. So we can go Raiden, Mill, Hawk can summon back Dark. We can Synchro for Vermilion. Vermilion can banish Raiden to pop the uh, Slash. And then we have Hawk, to, or then we have Dark to search like Duo. Hawk to summon back Dark and then Duo to summon itself. So that that's an OTK option there. Or we can go Aloof, banish Dark, banish Roar. We have a Telemi play. Um, and then we have a Hawk summon as well. I'm going to go for Telemi. Just because if it doesn't go through, having aloof on the field is better than just having Raiden, I think. Banish Dark. 
banish Roar. Roar will summon Roar and Dark will search Duo. He has a card to use. It's probably like Red Eyes Spirit or whatever the continuous spell is. I forget the name of it. Or what the continuous trap, I mean. I forget the name of it. Uh, so we can level Aug here. I think, yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to do that. So level Aug, or level Dupe, rather, target. Aloof, reveal Hawk. Now we can make Telemi M7 to bounce the Slash Dragon. Um. Yeah, so Telemi. Actually, do I want to bounce... I think I'm going to bounce the back row because I can just crash with duo and... No, I can't crash. Wait. Yeah, I can crash duo and just slash and then attack for game. Detach the... Uh... Oh, wait. It's only a face-up card. It's only a monster. I forgot. Never mind. So just bounce the slash. It's fine. We go hawk. Summon the banished roar. And then summon the duo. And he's going to scoop it up. Cool. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. Nice and swift. Let's do another one. Alright, we are up against the Sartorius Kumar. We are going second. Beautiful again. Two in a row. Let's just push through a Desperado board. This should be... This is going to be very easy. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, we see a loof with Dark. That's... That's just... So uh, this so much potential here, like so many options to make, just so many ways to play through your opponent's back row, and especially with Levy as a follow-up, just absolutely disgusting. It's gonna set. Uh, I think we're in the dark here again. Give us a better chance of drawing something good. There's charge. That is a very good card. Um, I'm gonna start. Uh, do I want to start with charge? No, I'm gonna start with aloof. Aloof effect. Banish the dark. Banish the roar. Banish the roar here. Dark effect, chain link one. Roar effect, chain link two. It's going to prov on the roar. That's fine. We can go ad hoc and then level dupe on aloof and then a hawk effect. Summon dark or summon, yeah, that, that was game there. Absolutely. We have charge to have a levy follow up. There was no way we were losing that. Nice. Easy game against Desperado. The ceiling on this deck is just so big. There's just so many just plays after play. This cannot be stopped. It feels so good to play this deck again. I love it. All right, we're up against another Sartorius Kumar. We are going first. Not the best. Um, honestly, I'm not. The only way Desperado can kill is with like Des Machina Fortress discarding Desperado. And um, there is a charge there. Add a Raiden. This can mill four. So we already milled Roar and Hawk. Uh, I'm going to go Raiden, mill two. Sends Raiden and Dark. I could have technically looped a card out of his hand. Actually, no, I couldn't have. Right, so, Levy has another effect. So, uh, aside of banishing both Light and Dark, so you can... People often forget the other effect. You can banish all Darks and, and shuffle a card from your opponent's hand into the deck randomly. Or you can banish all Lights and Reborn a monster from the graveyard. So, you got to keep those effects in mind. Like, they don't come up a ton. Um, but, like, that is a good turn one play, just to rip a card out of your opponent's hand and get a 3k beat stick on the field, trigger some dark effects that you banish. It's not a bad play at all. Or, uh, like, in this case, if we had three darks in the grave, I definitely would have done that. And then made, like, an Onomaru against... So it's not Desperado. Oh. I should have known that. He activated Balance, not Master of Destiny. I just assumed it was Master of Balance. I didn't even look. <laughs> it's a Master of Balance. I just assumed it was Master of Destiny. So he is doing the Anuk Skybridge play. Very, very nice play. Now the Altair will summon the Deneb on a new chain. Deneb will activate again on a new chain. 
search probably another Altair for the following turn. Now he can Deltaros me. I don't think he can kill me. He already used Skybridge. Yeah, I think we're fine. I'm trying to think. Yes. All fine and dandy. <sighs> so he's going to discard a card, and then I'll have Altair and two other cards in, on, in his hand. There's Batlamias. Batlamias effect. Detach and discard. Sun is right in my face. Um, there's Delta Rose. He, he discarded. Hmm, discarded Altair. Popping my Radin. That's fine. Setting two. He might have another Altair in his hand. We are drawing for turn. All right, so I do not fear a dark or a stellar Nova Alpha because Levy can do a thing that is called chain blocking. Now, if I banish my Hawk, my Roar, and my Dark, I can go chain link one Levy in here. And since I banished all of my thunder dragons they will activate at the same time that levianir activates so they will all go on a chain link so levianir will always be chain link one hawk will give you the option to be chain link two i'm not going to do that though because i'm going to be searching a hawk and i'd rather be able to use it to summon uh, another thunder dragon now we can go thunder dragon roar effect chain link two and then thunder dragon dark effect chain link three <clears throat> Now, he has the Fiendish Chain. So Fiendish Chain does answer this because whereas Stellar Nova Alpha can only negate the, the last thing that activates in the chain, Fiendish Chain can just target my levy and then at any point as it, as it resolves, it'll be negated. So I'm going to add Hawk to my hand. And now I'm going to special summon a Roar using Roar. And then levy will be negated. But that is okay. Now we can go... Uh, dark of or hawk effect. If he has, uh, if he has Nova, it's looking like it's Nova. So yeah, so there was a delay on my hawk activation, but no delay on summon. So it leads me to believe that it, that is Nova. I'm going to make Telemi M7. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to summon Lila and bait the back row with Lila effect. Now he'll be forced to Nova. There it is. He'll tribute his Deltaros. And now I can bounce something with Telemi. I could even bounce my own Levianir to resummon it. That is an option. Depending on what he does here. He'll Deltaros summon Altair, most likely. If he has a third one. He has two engraved, right? Yeah. He has to have a third Altair. He might not. We shall see. If I do resummon the Levianir, I cannot use his effect again because it's only once per turn. Yeah. Even if it, the effect was negated, or even if the activation was negated, it says you can only use this effect once per turn, so I can only attempt to use it once. So he's going to summon Deneb to search. It looks like he doesn't have another Altair. I don't think we can kill him regardless. Unfortunate. Um, ooh, I could pierce. <laughs> there it is. So I go to Lemmy M7. Detach Roar. Bounce. Bounce my Levy. Where is it? Uh, bounce this levy in here. I can resummon this levy in here. It doesn't really matter what I banish because I'm just going to kill him. Unless he has like Sphere Karibo or something. I doubt it though. And then I can overlay for Gaia Charger. Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. Pierce for 16 and attack for 32. And that is going to be the ball game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Gaia Dragon coming in clutch to deal that extra damage. Let's do another one. Alright. You say Fudo Mirror Match. Most likely, 
level dupe as well. We are on our rank up. We've won three in a row. Unedited. Well, I mean, it's edited. I'm cutting between takes, but these are just my first three duels that I played. So the deck is just so good. Levy in hand. I mean, this these aren't guaranteed plays. We could maybe mill like a Dark or a Roar with Raiden, and then we could have a Hawk play. Uh, we could level dupe on Raiden, and then we can summon back like a Roar. Maybe either Xyz or Synchro for an Onomaru. That is an option. There is the Esset, so it is Heratic. Looking like level dupe. He's summoning Esset and setting one charge. That is disgusting. Um, I don't think he has anything. If he has something, it's like Econ, maybe. He might Econ take my Raiden here, which I really do not care about. I have charge. Oh, he's going to banish. Okay, that, that card. Right. So banish the Raiden. Don't care. I drew the charge for a nice follow-up. If we mail any, any like, Dark or Roar here, we have a solid play. There is Heretic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Adding, we mailed Dark Roar Caius. Um, we can go Hawk Summon Roar. I can... I'm trying to think. I can... Hawk Summon Roar. Um, well, I could levy first, banish three, trigger dark and roar, and then discard, summon, there it is. Okay, so a little bit of thinking there. So I'm going to levy first. I'm not going to use levy effect because I'd rather just have a 3k beat stick, but I am going to use levy to trigger dark and roar. Now, Dark is going to add uh, Duo, I believe. Duo. Special, oh, Roar is going to Special Summon Roar. Dark is going to add Duo. And now I'm going to Hawk. Summon back the Roar from the Banish Pile. I can go into Telemi using Roar and Roar. Telemi is going to detach the Roar, bounce the normal monster to his hand, and then I'm going to Summon Duo and swing for game through a Sphere Karibo. There it is. Just like that. Boom, bang, bop. Sweet. All right, guys, that's going to do it. <laughs> that was four really quick games. The deck's ceiling is so high. It's so crazy. I just do just play after play after play. You just cannot be stopped, and it feels so good. You just I played through a fiendish chain that one game. I played I, like right there. I just played through a banishment. I mean, it kind of was dependent on the charge mill, but like you have so many good mill targets with charge. And like I had levy, so all I had to do was not mill a spell, which I had. I had one other charge and a melody of awakening dragon. So like the odds of me milling a spell were really low there. Um, I just the deck is just so strong, and I I think this is a great Casey Cup option, just because it has fast wins, and if you are going to lose, you know when you're going to lose. So like, it has fast losses as well. Whereas a control deck could maybe like play out a game and see if they could maybe win. Like this deck, you're like, oh, I lose. I don't have any play. I scoop, move on to the next one, and then win that one quickly. Win another one quickly. The deck just has fast wins and fast losses. So I think this is a great Casey Cup option. The deck feels so strong because of the new Xyz monsters like Telemi and Gaia is like piercing damage. It's a balance. You have Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis to overlay with like like you can. Reveal Levy in hand, level dupe something to eight, and then summon Levy. If it gets fiendish, you can overlook Everlay into Heliopolis, detach and tribute two monsters to pop two cards or something like that. Just continue extending, just continue playing. So strong. I hope you guys try the deck if you have the resources. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.